Hey everybody, welcome back to the Harold Feinstein Studio Series. My name is Corey Levine. I'm the studio manager here at the Harold Feinstein Photography Trust. Hi everybody, my name is Shannon Pelletier and I'm an intern at the Harold Feinstein Photography Trust. And we're here today to carry on with our social video walkthrough of Graciously Yours, which is the solo Feinstein show currently hanging in Paris at Gallery Terry Bigagnon. If you're in the area, we hope you get to it. Uh, if not, we hope you enjoy these videos where we're talking about the photographs that are hanging uh, at the gallery. Today, we're looking at this print. This is called Take Your Own Photos. It's a 16 by 20 uh, limited edition print. And the photograph was shot in 1978 on Coney Island. And um, so let's, let's dig into it. Uh, Shannon, when you look at this photograph, what comes to mind? What strikes you first? Um, when I look at this photograph immediately, I'm reminded of Harold and fellow artists who have used windows and reflective surfaces as mirrors for themselves, such as uh, Vivian Meyer is very well known for it, as is Lee Friedlander. And it's a popular subject matter where we use windows and mirrors and all these reflective things to, as photographers, fit ourselves into photographs sometimes. And actually, we can learn more about how street photographers do this kind of thing in Harold's blogs. Uh, we can put the link below and feel free to check it out. It's all about fellow artists who have done similar work. Yeah, this, the, obviously it's a self-portrait of, of Harold uh, you know, taken against this, this mirror uh, on the photo booth. And I think what's, you know, it's, it's compelling to examine a self-portrait because it says so much about the artist and in this instance I think it speaks volumes about Harold that you know his uh, self-portrait in this mode is 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 as he was among the people uh, sort of on the same plane as the other uh, subjects of this photograph uh, you have beside him to his right a whole bunch of photographs of other people and this was sort of where Harold lived was was with everybody else and and to, you know, it should come as no surprise, he has this cheerful, joyful uh, expression and smile on his face uh, for being there. Mm. It's funny that you talk about being cheerful and so lighthearted when he's photographing, because I find that that's a great quality that Harold had throughout his work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, being a lighthearted person while photographing is sometimes hard to do if you're a photographer and tend to overthink or over worry what you're creating. Um, it kills creativity, so I think Harold is a great example of truly enjoy what you're doing and masterfully create photographs all at the same time. Yeah, I, I agree, and I think it's a great point that so many uh, artists and uh, of all stripes take themselves and their work so seriously that it can deprive the work of joy and gratitude and love uh, and these were the things that Harold really infused in his work across the board. Uh, I think you can even see it in uh, a very different photograph uh, of a similar subject. So Harold, when he was an army draftee, also shot a photo booth. Um, so this is not the first time uh, that, that Harold shot this particular subject matter and we'll show, show you in the video. Uh, and that photograph is you know, very different, has a very different feel, but I think has a uh, you know, commonality in the idea of showing subjects through the eyes of you know, people that love them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I look at this image, I think about, you know, trying to think about what is it, what is it about, what does it mean, you know, what is the significance of this? Uh, and to me, this photograph really uh, brings to mind the idea of observation, right? So you have multiple elements of that. You have the the woman in the corner looking back at the photographer, um, you know, and while he's looking at us or looking back at the camera. Uh, you know, you have the you know multiple different gazes in the strips that are uh, you know on the advertisement for the photo, and and so you know this idea of you know, observation, what are we looking at? What do we see when we move through the world? Mm -hmm. And 
I think it speaks very loudly to what Harold saw as he moved through, moved through the world, which was um, almost as though he were looking for the picture to tell him to take it, right? So in this instance, and, and it's quite literal here, where the sign is saying, take your own photos. <laughs> and, you know, Harold, uh, moving through this space, noticed that and thought to himself, yeah, sure, why not? I'll take my own photo uh, and, you know, put his own spin on it. So I think that speaks to you know, sort of the the outlook and the vision and the way he observed the world, waiting for the, the pictures to reveal themselves to him. And it's funny you say, like, sure, I, sure I'll sure i do it, because he actually wrote that in his blog that this photograph is featured in. Mm -hmm. it's a, it says, oh, it's a take your own photos. So I did. Mm -hmm. And it's back to the same, like, lighthearted energy, but also being able to make a composition in an instant. And in that, I also see... I see this photograph as being broken up by the Fibonacci spiral, and I can't get it out of my head, but there's multiple rectangular frames going on, mm -hmm. and it's, again, we're talking about your your topic of multiple frames and dimensionality, and I think that's another, like, very artistic way that this photograph is broken up. Mm -hmm. So it's also reflective of his master skill and ability to apply composition yeah. immediately which is necessary for a photographer and very impressive yeah i, I think you're right i think the, the fibonacci spiral is there i i doubt that harold would have seen it that way or maybe he did <laughs> who, who knows but i think that's your uh <laughs> your classwork uh showing through which is great uh and something that <laughs> that i didn't notice um but is, is certainly there the way that the smaller rectangles kind of uh continue to grow around the circle all right. Well, I think that's all for today. Uh, we'll be on vacation next week and won't have another video for you for two weeks. But if you're enjoying these videos, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, jump into the conversation in the comments. We'd really be glad to hear from you and we'll uh, do our best to get back to you if you share your thoughts with us. And uh, until we see you again, uh, be well, everybody. Bye.